Hello everyone, my name is Vos Jozef and I am Mr. Muzet. I am a digital illustrator from Romania and in my free time I experiment with traditional mediums and art-related videos. If you are new here, go check out my other videos as well and subscribe to the channel for future similar projects. In this video I am painting an illustration with watercolors for which I've got the idea a few weeks ago when I was doodling in one of my sketchbooks and drew this character which instead of its head has these blue roses. I will insert on the screen a photo of the original sketch and idea. After a while I thought that I could explore this idea more in a bigger and more detailed illustration. So I did so in another sketchbook of mine and I ended up with this illustration of which I was quite happy. So I transferred it on a watercolor paper. This paper is a Hanehmüchle Harmony Hot Pressed 300 GSM paper. After I transferred the line art, came the painting stage. For this illustration I used the Paul Rubens watercolor set and the Prima Marketing Tropical set, because I wanted to stick to the original color palette and in these two sets are some beautiful blue colors. As usual, when I paint with watercolor, my process all the time is the same. It's nothing too complicated, but the process relaxes me and I enjoy it. First I lay down the base colors and after that I go in with new layers or color shades to build up the shadows and add some depth to the forms. Where is needed, I leave the white of the paper untouched and I add only the shadows. An example is when I color the deer skull which holds the character. Also as a secondary color I used different shades of purple. Lately I avoided to use too much purples in my illustrations which you might already noticed but in this piece I thought that the blue and the purple goes well together. The line art were drew with Stadler waterproof pigment liners as I do all the time when I paint with watercolors. And I am that artist who likes to draw first the line art and after that to color the piece and not other way around. This way I have a more exact final image of the work from the beginning and I need only to concentrate on the choose of colors and values between them. I know that I still need to work on the color values in my illustrations, but this will get better in time with practice. I draw also the line art first because watercolors are a transparent medium and do not affect too much the line work if I go over it with the watercolors. 
and they serve as an exact guide at the coloring. Lately I like to include ink in my illustrations as well, so at the end I color in the clouds with some black ink from Koinor. This ink is nothing too fancy or expensive. I think that this small bottle of drawing ink is around a dollar. I bought some of this last year when I was creating the Inktober piece and I still enjoy using them in my illustrations as they are very pigmented and of course are waterproof. And to add some more texture to the illustration, I added some line texture to the clouds with a white gel pen. I really like how the black helps the illustration and the colors to pop from the page, gives a big value to the final piece. Also I am quite happy how the illustration turned out at the end, and I am quite proud of this piece. And I also like this surrealistic fantasy and strange feel of the illustration. Lately I add these vibes more often to my illustrations and I really enjoy the final results. So I will explore more this in my future illustrations as well. Hope you like the final results, let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts on this and if you have any questions, write down those as well and I will respond if I can. Also check out my social media website and shop too, which are linked in the description of the video. The next video will be on another zodiac signs illustration from my newest series, I already uploaded a few days ago the first video from the series, so go check out that as well if you didn't saw it already. Thank you for watching and do not forget, life is a song, illustrate it.